uh, currently with uh, Verizon Media as uh, their principal performance engineer, you see a rich uh, uh, collection of experiences there on the right. He's also an avid Intel tools user and uh, has been using Intel technology for many years and is a strong advocate. And one of the things we we're trying to do new with some of these open forums is kind of hear from the, from the outside a little bit more. So we've invited a series of different folks uh, who've been associated with us and our technology that just give a few thoughts on on those experiences and uh, uh, their view. Uh, so Murad, if you wouldn't mind, it's all yours. I think now you hear me, right? Yeah. Perfect. Good morning, guys. Uh, good morning for, for people who are in the uh, West Coast and uh, good afternoon for people from uh, East Coast and Midwest. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, of course, I'm going to share with pleasure my experience with Intel through uh, a lot of years uh, of work. Uh, and also, um, I have some personal experience also with Intel, uh, which is very uh, helpful for the uh, generations. Uh, so I'm really satisfied with the things that we have at work and the different tools and different libraries and different uh, lectures uh, through the training that we have. So my, my presentation today is going to be e, uh, equal MC square. Uh, it's not exactly what you think. It's not the formula from uh, Einstein for energy. Uh, it's going to be uh, com it's, it's going to be completely different, and it's uh, we can apply uh, this for uh, actually for the uh, the new generation, the new era, uh, of, especially with communication and the social media that we have here in Silicon Valley in the world in general. Uh, so how how can uh, go to the next slides? Uh, should should uh, I? If uh, you just call out the slides, I'll, I'll flip them for you. How about that? Okay. Yeah, you can you can go to the next slide. So I work at the performance engineering group at Verizon, uh, uh, Verizon Media, part of the Verizon company, and our mission is uh, uh, you know um, mostly um, uh, doing the certification, hardware certification, hardware review with different uh, uh, mission. Uh, we do research and development, uh, everything which is connected to the software and hardware. We do also the performance uh, profiling, uh, different tools uh, in-house and uh, the commercial uh, tools that we use for profiling for uh, emulation and simulation. Uh, we have a hardware lab for hardware certification for the security tools when it comes to new gen new generation, new technology for different components of the server. Uh, here we talk about the CPU, memory, uh, network, uh, I.O., uh, and also access to the hardware for different uh, teams and services at the, at the company. Uh, so we allocate hardware when it comes to the CPU, compute in general, CPU, GPU, and different uh, other components. Um, so we care about the networking too, networking performance. And uh, of course, when we talk about performance, we talk about the data, or, uh, the, the data that comes with, uh, and we do a lot of data mining and analysis and uh, now with a, a new uh, technology with artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, we use a lot of, uh, we uh, try to uh, take advantage of the data that we um, we generate through uh, different servers in different um, data centers uh, for uh, checking the server utilization, uh, server optimization hardware, and so on. Um, you can go to the next, uh, here one of the real case that we uh, we, we worked with uh, Intel uh, and also with the, the Intel B2 and the, the, the tool that we use for profiling essentially with other tools. Uh, and uh, this is uh, one of the applications that we have uh, or we, we had in the past and then we worked uh, through an issue um, uh, and the, the, the metrics here, we, we are talking about the QPS or queries per second through the time. Uh, and then uh, we, we had some expectation from the team that they were looking for or they reported this issue, and we worked with them using VTune and uh, some tuning uh, or tuning tune this application to improve their the performance. And you can see the this exponential performance improvement in terms of uh, um, uh, QPS and the lower latency. We found a lot of issues through the application, of course, the the the, the tool that uh, helped us to uh, to work and, and uh, try to explore what happened with the this application, either with the Numa issue, garbage collection, as the application of Java, and the, this uh, this was through the, you know, the the, the Java feature, including uh, with the using Btune, uh, it was very helpful in terms of uh, solving the problem, also saving time 
and money, uh, and uh, which has a huge impact on revenue generation. So this is one of the biggest examples. Well, of course, I have other examples that I don't have time to explore uh, to, to explain. Uh, but uh, these, this is uh, one of the examples that uh, Intel Beacon, which is the product from Intel, was very, very helpful, and also the support of Intel. Uh, every time when we talk to them, uh, we have a, an expert who's helping uh, either with uh, data analysis or uh, some functionalities using the, the tool. Here, this is a kind of a personal uh, project that I, work, I was working with, uh, uh, which was in, in Africa, and the, the slide they gave the title Intel inspires Africa because um, actually it, it is the case uh, with one of the largest country there, um, which is one of uh, uh, my origins. I graduate, I graduate in France, uh, but we uh, have origins from Algeria, and the idea was how we can help students there. Um, so uh, sometimes I go there to give a presentation to the university because it's the, the best way how you can collaborate with uh, with people there and help them especially in terms of technology and in terms of education. Um, so um, I would say it's, a, it's time of Africa because um, I saw a lot of potential, in, uh, especially the, they have 70% of youth, um, 2 million students uh, in Algeria of a population with, with, uh, with 40 million, um, 100 universities and 65% of the students are women. Um, so uh, I do sometimes a, a boot camp uh, to teach them leadership, to teach them uh, uh, technology in terms of artificial intelligence or even performance uh, and uh, um, uh, one, one, one time when I, uh, I went there I saw that they have some resources in terms of compute uh, a cluster uh, with, uh, with Intel CPUs and um, it, it was it was a uh, was great step to uh, to uh, to uh, understand what they are looking for so the idea was how I can help uh, in terms of uh, uh, improve the knowledge of, of, of these students, of these people. And uh, uh, when I want to understand that uh, it's an Intel cluster. I, I was thinking how we can use different resources that Intel can offer for students for free. And one of them is the, the beautiful, amazing process of artificial intelligence as people they were looking for, uh, for this uh, new technology, new knowledge, how they can use artificial intelligence so, to solve uh, some problems uh, there uh, in Africa. Uh, you can go to the next step where I, um, actually um, uh, one of the biggest problems they have. Uh, so we visited uh, one city um, uh, there. We did a boot camp, uh, artificial intelligence boot camp uh, with, with Intel Artificial Intelligence Academy courses. And the people, they were amazed by the structure of the courses and also the resources that uh, Intel is offering for, for, uh, for students. Uh, and the, they, they decided to take advantage of this. Uh, especially if they have a huge problem of uh, pollution there, and they, they were thinking about uh, some big project of using artificial intelligence uh, and technology to solve this problem, at least to monitor um, the pollution in the city, because it's a kind of an industrial city. Uh, 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 and uh, you, you can see this this is only the organizers. Uh, we had more than uh, 600 people attending at, uh, this uh, presentation uh, uh, that was part of it just to explain how they can use Intel resources and different courses for artificial intelligence. And uh, they, they are still using it. And, uh, it's a, it's a really a, a life experience looking at the faces of these uh, students uh, and they're trying to learn more. And they are actually, they, the message they want is that uh, they want to share with you guys. It's like, if, if you can have more, that would be great, uh, especially for education and uh, different resources that they can offer and that they can take advantage uh, to, to have more uh, knowledge. Um, you can go to the next. Uh, so, yeah. This yes, is, uh, so, Murad, uh, this is very impressive, you know, um, bringing Africa, uh, especially, you know, Northern Africa up to speed. Um, and, uh, yeah, if, we, if there are any other trainings or something that we can help you with in terms of AI or, uh, our tools or something like that, you know, um, please let us know. We would be really willing to help with that. This is yeah. Paresh Patani. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this, this is the idea through the, uh, this presentation is uh, to show the interest of these people. They, they, they need some help. This is only one city of, uh, of Algeria, and this is the largest country in Africa. It's, the, the, it's, it's huge. Uh, we're just talking about the north. And you can see the picture here. It's the, 
one of the beautiful beach, uh, beach on, on the city and you can the city bound uh, and you see the problem the biggest problem as the uh, more than 50 percent of the city's uh, industrial zone uh, for uh, for oil uh, Algeria is known for oil and gas and they they do uh, the treatment of, uh, of oil in the city uh, this is was uh, you know it's old city so uh, with the with the you know the, the increase of population uh, you know the city is covering now the all the industrial zone so they have this issue of, of pollution because there is no separation between the industry and, and, and the city and the, the the first thing when I, I was talking to them about what, what are the your top three projects uh, using artificial intelligence they said we need we need we need to use IOTs or Internet of Things with high speed internet and the, and the artificial intelligence model to uh, monitor the team and detect uh, the zones where they are affected with this pollution and uh, uh, I, I see I see it as a uh, kind of a part of life uh, if we need to save some lives there through uh, through uh, through uh, through technology and, and uh, for sure Intel is, is helpful it has been um, very very helpful through the people that I know here in Silicon Valley and then help them uh, or through the students because they are the people that are taking the you know the the, the, the this uh, this a project and they want to develop it and they, they might need your help in the future so uh, I, th I think I think uh, I think it's it's, it's very good uh, thing to invest in uh, without talking about other projects um, with different uh, students and universities because um, uh, I'm trying to build some artificial intelligence center of the city because they have already the cluster they have the compute resources that we can take advantage and actually Intel is helpful to uh, Steve for example to uh, first we found that they have the software, the Paras Studio software that we can actually um, uh, upgrade or uh, get some new license for them uh, to use that to use it better with uh, different libraries of artificial intelligence. So uh, students are happy that the, the university staff also they are happy for now, and, and um, I'm still working with them to develop this, this project and get it uh, to get what they are expected to. Um, you can go to the next step. Uh, for uh, next uh, next slide, yeah, uh, here here actually one of the uh, presentations that uh, uh, Intel was offering to Manora, uh, Manora who is an expert in artificial intelligence and uh, uh, have been working with her through performance projects. She when I, I asked her to give a presentation to uh, uh, selected students, uh, she was very really happy and uh, she she gave them this computer vision to open the and uh, actually now they are using OpenBeam and uh, they are trying to get uh, to the expert level of OpenBeam through uh, different, uh, uh, different the, the library, for, uh, first the, the tool, but also all different, uh, different lectures that they are online. So I'm really thankful for, uh, for Intel to, to do this. So uh, different presentation, different different slides and, and just put the communication and methodology. Um, for example, this is very good way of communicating or a way to communicate things from Intel to different to, to the public because these students are part of the public. They they didn't know about all these tools uh, that, Intel are, uh, that Intel is offering to to the to the students because um, uh, you, mostly it's uh, in the U.S. and maybe in Europe. Even in Europe, people they didn't know a lot about what, what Intel is offering. So I, I selected this as communication, but you could see, see uh, a few slides communication and methodology, and this is. Has a connection with the, the title, uh, why I, I gave the name of EMC Square for for this presentation. Um, uh, next uh, slide, please. Yeah, uh, of course, um, Intel. After giving them the, so I, I was teaching them the artificial intelligence different uh, lectures for 12 weeks, and then I'm going to continue with the eight weeks. Uh, so when you go to the website uh, of the, of the training that uh, that Intel is offering through the artificial intelligence academy, uh, at the end you have a certificate and the they, they couldn't believe that after all this thing, uh, all these lectures and help from Intel, and they can get Intel uh, artificial intelligence academy certificate of completion, and they can publish the, uh, through uh, LinkedIn. Uh, it was very, very helpful. This is one of the students that they have, and uh, uh, she was really happy to get the certificate and be one of the artificial intelligence academy um, expert uh, uh, for the lecture that she got. Uh, this is one of the certificates of the lecture of artificial intelligence from data center to the edge, and uh, uh, now she she can use her knowledge to develop things and solve problems in, in her city. And uh, I think the idea is how we can 
um, uh, duplicate or uh, you know with knowledge you can you can go even exponential but these students are uh, ready to teach other students uh, which is which is amazing and uh, uh, they are part of the one of the scientific club there so they are organizing themselves very now to uh, actually teach others and also get all more knowledge from uh, from themselves to use this uh, all different their resources for uh, their cluster or artificial intelligence uh, center uh, next uh, slide. Well, uh, this work couldn't, you know, couldn't be possible without these people. And uh, I'm really thankful to uh, Jennifer, to uh, Manoj, uh, Asaf, uh, Manora, uh, and Steve. Steve was uh, the guy who was uh, connecting everyone. Uh, Manora with uh, with her presentation. Asaf uh, mostly uh, about work uh, and uh, different training. Even during the coronavirus, we did the virtual training for uh, our employees. Uh, and developers of the Horizon Media. Uh, 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 Manoj, same thing. Jennifer, she was also part of this, uh, the training. So I'm really thankful for uh, these people. And uh, uh, the, 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 the title that uh, now I explained what it is, it's efficiency, also methodology, it's applied, but not only communication, but communication square. So if you like something to do, and if you would, would like to be powerful and strong in anything, you need to be efficient. And the efficiency is going to be with uh, methodology that Intel is offering and we are taking advantage of it and also communication between uh, different people uh, with, the, with Steve every time I, I, I talk to him is just trying to give me as, as, as soon as possible a solution uh, for help and support so I'm really thankful for uh, the staff of Intel and, and Steve is, is uh, the I would say representative uh, of course technical people like Manora, Asa uh, and Manoj and Jennifer they were also uh, helpful and uh, I'm really thankful. So, uh, efficiency for methodology multiplied by communication square. And you can see the small sign of the Intel inside. Just the, it's just a hint of uh, Intel inside uh, uh, sl slogan that we are using everywhere. For so, thank you very much, guys. <clears throat> Rod, that was terrific. Thank you for sharing such a personal story about how <clears throat> technology is helping uh, your homeland. Uh, it's really a compelling argument, and I, and I will offer that we've invited Murad to come back. He had a much richer uh, talk describing language usage, tools usage, etc. We're inviting him back to plug him into one of the tech forums we've got. We're not sure which one yet, but you could hear a little bit more from him and the usage <clears throat> and the feedback he's got. So thank you. We'll we'll be respectful of your time and let you sign off now. And thanks again for attending. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Uh, All right. Thanks for for your time.